Hello everyone, welcome back to Hoffman Sketchboard, and today we're going to talk about the cooling system of Internet Data Centers. So behind every cloud service, there is a physical data center, and inside these data centers, we have lots of servers. And for this video, we're going to uh, specifically talk about immersion cooling system. So inside a server unit, there will usually be one or multiple motherboards. And on the motherboards, there are many processors that need to be cooled. So the way to cool this is we put it directly into a dielectric liquid. And here, we are going to use 3M Novic liquid as an example. This liquid has a boiling point of 34 degrees Celsius. When the motherboard heats up, this liquid will boil and starting an aggressive vaporization process. During this process, the excessive heat from the motherboard will be taken out and the vaporized 3M novel will be transferred to the other side of the cooling system. And in this side, we first have a cooling tower. This tower consists of several core elements. First, it has a hot water pipe intake, and then it has a cold water pipe output. This cooling tower also intakes cool air and exhaust warm air. So upon a close examination of this cooling tower, we first see a hot water pipe. And then on it, we have spray nozzles. And then this system also intakes cool air from the both sides. And then there is a fan that directs the cool air to pass through the hot water that is sprayed by the nozzles. And then the heated up air will be exhausted. And the spray nozzles will pass through the cool air to be cooled and then to be collected at the bottom. So now we have cooled water, but we want to use the cool water to cool the 3M Novic in vapor state. And how do we do that? Well, we could use a condenser. A condenser looks like this. It has several intakes and outputs. As you may notice, there is the biggest input, the one at the top. This is for the intake of vapor. And the one on the lower middle takes in water. So the vapor can be cooled and condensed. And the 3M Novic can return to its liquid states. And the heated water will be returned to the cooling tower. And the 3M Novic in liquid state will be returned to the data center to compensate for the vaporized 3M Novic and complete a sustained system. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.